Good morning, everyone. My name is Willie the Bam Johnson, and I'm glad to be here with you this morning. Early morning, my day normally starts around 3 a.m. Wake up and, you know, look at myself in the mirror and look at my vision board and say, thank you, God, and begin that whole process to prepare myself to have a great and wonderful, blessed day. Wherever I go, I got a vision board, you know, in my house, in my office. You know, when I'm working out in the gym, I'm listening to my 10-year plan. You know, I got to stay connected to the vision, the dreams, and the goals. I leave the results up to God, but I know to focus on those things that God has blessed me to be able to lay out on paper. Just like when I was incarcerated, you know, I, wish, I do not wish that on anyone, but because of my bad choices and my joy to live an irresponsible life, I mean, who don't want to be irresponsible? Who wouldn't want to, you know, be disrespectful and find an easy way out by disrespecting people, hurting people, and putting people down? That's easy to do. Being negative, anybody would want to do that. I love that aspect of my life. Just didn't like the consequences. And because those consequences took me into jails and institutions, didn't allow me to experience death, and thank God I didn't experience that. But I came close to not being locked down in a jail cell for 23 hours and let out for one. My first day, man, I just wanted to end it. White sheet in hand, contemplating suicide, wrapping that sheet around my head, throwing it over that bedpost, and just hanging with my knees off the floor. For in a couple of seconds, I began to think about a promise that my mom asked me to make to her before she passed away in my arms from cancer. She said, bam, bam, be good. And I thought about my son, knowing that if I didn't change, he was going to repeat this cycle and probably end up dead. Coming up, it was hard to imagine me making it past 29 because most of the people coming up in my environment, you were either dead before you was 29 years old. Now it's even younger. But in that jail cell, I began to beg and plead, drop down on my hands and knees, asking God to give me another chance and let them know I would never leave his side again. Well, I will never abandon him because he never left my side. He has always been in my life through the good and the bad. He created me. He is my master. He is my everything. And I got that second chance. And I began to commit myself to the development of mind, body, and spirit. Writing, evaluating my, my life, past, present, and future, and just living life to its fullest, man. Making the use of every second in that jail cell. Yeah, I was locked down, but I was free spiritually. I was beyond those prison walls. And through those prison walls, I wrote this book, The Complete Martial Artist, that came out and was on the new author's bestsellers list. In that book, I wanted to help you understand the principles of martial arts taught in martial arts schools or in martial arts in general. Sometimes we get so caught up into the physical components, and yeah, we talk about the mental, but we really don't allow ourselves to evolve to the spiritual and understanding the chi. I know what helped me, it was the principles, the rediscovery of the principles that are universal, principle-centered leadership from the inside out. I realized that those were the things that were missing. If I'd have had those things and really worked those things and made them a part of my everyday being, guess what? I probably wouldn't have took the path that I took. I'd have had a hard path, but it probably wouldn't have been that hard. I wouldn't have been in the gutter, in the slums, and in hell. I'm trying to show you how to prevent that from happening. Self-destruction. We got to avoid that path. We don't have to create our own misery. And that's what the Complete Martial Artist book is teaching you. Guaranteed it will change your life. I guarantee it. It's been over 25 some years that I changed my life around. Thank to God and thanks to all the people that set the example for me. Even the people that was not strong enough to be that example, you gave me strength and hope. Through your words, there was something that you gave me that made me become the person I am today and allowed me to write this book, The Complete Martial Artist. In the book, we talk about the principles. Yeah, we talk about the first principle, which is honesty. Have an open mind. Bruce Lee said, until we honestly learn to express ourselves, we will never grow honestly. You must dig down inside yourself and let yourself go. You got to surrender to win. That is what this book is talking to you about. I had to surrender in jail. And guess what? I won. I'm still on that constant journey of being honest every second. That honesty starts inside yourself when nobody else is around. When you're not trying to get a award or, or you're not trying to do it for anyone else. You're trying to do it for yourself. 
Because the growth and the reward that you get from the inside out, man, it cannot be matched. Can't no dollar bill on this earth, can't no title, can't no movie, can't nothing match that feeling of self-gratification because you was honest. And that process of going through the struggle, going through the pain to get to the other side, hey, man, that's the greatest feeling in the world. And I learned it about in this book. That's what we teach you. When you're out there on that floor, be honest. Let yourself go. So what you fall down? If you fall down from honestly expressing yourself, guess what? Those that are honestly trying to help you get up, they're going to give you something that's going to be real and it's going to last with you for a lifetime. So when you out there and you lost, like me, when I was lost in that jail cell and had nobody, I knew the answers. I had to be honest. You fool when you're I'm hungry, inside. I'm going to show you how to go out there and hunt for your own food when you're hungry. Because if I show you how to hunt for your own personal well-being, you'll never need me. You'll be able to harmoniously adapt to whatever comes your way. Flipping the script, that's what it's all about.